What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Gator back with another vlog. Mmm, 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 mmm. Don't that look delicious? I got some shrimp and some Dungeness crabs. I'm finna get ready to tend to once the wife get out. I end up already having it prepped up. So when she get off, all she got to do is dig in. Mmm, mmm. And I end up stopping that fiery crab and getting. A couple of sauces we gonna try. I think I end up getting lemon pepper, uh, garlic butter, and um, I think I had got the fiery Cajun sauce. Or something. But we gonna try them out today. Oh boy, boy, they look delicious. Look at all that juice. I can't wait to dig in. But as you could tell on the thumbnail, what we got going on today, we finna be um. Doing some unboxing on these wheel wood brakes, disc brakes. I end up getting in. I ordered a while back. Oh, and we got some other good news. I got that title in for that 2018 Lexus. Yeah, I don't play no games. So we got to go get that changed out. This is not my information. I don't know who information that is. Because uh, you know I bought the car from the auction. So, but yeah, we got the title in for that 2018 Lexus. We'll be doing the paperwork to that soon, switching it over and stuff. But let's go on, um, look at some of this stuff before I dig in on that. Because I'm waiting on her to make it here. Once she get off of work, she end up driving the Infinity today. Lexus right there. But yeah, this is what we're going to be doing uh, today. Unboxing all the parts brand new. For the brake system. I bought everything brand new. Besides brake lines. But yeah. Master cylinder. Brake booster. Disc brakes. Disc brakes. Um, calibers. I got the. Um, what else I got? Brake fluid. Oh yeah. Brake shoes. Drum brake brand new and we will also be doing a little prep work i must talk about it more on the unboxing uh i'm gonna be cleaning up under there while the tires are off before i end up adding the disc brakes i'm gonna spray that undercoating in the wheel well and stuff like that and the under carriage of the car i'll probably do that by lj shop me and him and mess with that anything i don't like under the car looks kind of funny we'll be sanding it down spraying it with that product i end up looking it up for a little second now on YouTube, and it looks like all the vehicles I've been seeing put that on there comes out pretty good. So, yeah, but let me get ready to tend to this food. She should be pulling up shortly, and then we'll come up in this garage and start unboxing this stuff, and I'll let y'all know the next step up for the MC. I will let y'all know the next step. Oh, yeah, that thing clean. Them, them disc brakes go set this moment off. Oh. And you know right after them disc brakes go on, how I'm coming. Once I put them disc brakes on, it ain't going to be too much longer. The wheels going to be coming, I promise you. I promise it ain't going to be too much longer. But yeah, let me get ready to eat. And I'll be getting back with y'all. I just finished eating that delicious seafood. Man, I'm stuffed. But I got to get this footage. Oh, yeah, I got a surprise for y'all. Even though I must say I'm not satisfied with it, but at least I got something out the deal. But for y'all who've been subscribed to me and know, when I end up going to Upholstery Limited, getting my dash fixed, they end up breaking that. That was on November the 28th, and they finally end up giving me Replacing a part, but not with the original part. <laughs> so that's what I'm kind of discouraged about. But if I could put that part in there and end up not having to worry about a hole, but it isn't the original part. But yeah. <sighs> Let's get to this unboxing because I'm stuffed. I am stuffed. So what we got here today? Yes, sir. Wheelwood, four piston brakes. 
for the SS. And I end up receiving this, I want to say about a week, week and a half ago. But I just had to gather all my other parts before I shot the unboxing. And I want to say I didn't order a black rotor. I ordered a chrome or the silver. But they sent me a black one, so I'm going to just work with what I got. I'm not going to go through the hassle of all that sending it back and all that. But now I'm just thinking to myself also, when I put that rotor on there and uh, hitting those brakes, is this going to scrape that black off of there and it's going to be looking all nasty and cheesy? If it's not one thing, it's enough. <sighs> but I'm going to work with it. And I'm going to look at my order to verify that I did order a chrome. When I may call them, I may not. But let's get to this unboxing. So what we have here is the Wheelwood Disc Brakes front kit. I ordered for my 1985 Monte Carlo SS. And I also um, said in a previous vlog that when I do do the brakes, I was gonna do everything from front to back, which you can see I have everything from front to back. So this will be the next update that I'll be doing to the Monte Carlo. I'll be adding these wheel wood disc brake four piston that I uh, purchased from Jigs. They end up having a sale. I think I end up using a coupon code where I got like $50 off or $100 off. And um, I ordered them. It was fast shipping. Uh, that was my first time really going through Jigs. So um, I liked the process. I ended up ordering them because it was, I guess, a large amount. I think uh, the total was like 1106 with the discount. They end up calling me after I ordered to verify it and verify the car, which I already had did before I purchased it because I was looking at some other ones. I think that were cheaper. I'm not sure if they were just um, two pissed in or whatever it was, but they were wheel wood brakes, but that application didn't fit this vehicle. So good thing I did call and I ended up speaking with someone and they told me the ones that did fit this application. So. I end up ordering these and I won't have to change anything out on the front. Everything else on the front end will be original. I'll just slide these right on with no issue. So in the uh, wheel wood disc brake kit, I'm gonna verify everything that came in it. In this box, as you can see, bearings. You got your bearings, seals. Nuts, bolts, stuff like that. And this also came out of that box. All of that. Then in this box, you have your brake pads. Uh, I think this was for the splendor or something like that. This part here. This is the hub. This is the hub. Which I have two of everything, but I just took one out the box. Um, I end up ordering my uh, brake booster from CarQuest, I wanna say I got that from CarQuest. No, let me find a box for y'all. No, my brake booster, I end up getting that from O'Reilly. That's the part number for the brake booster. I end up getting my master cylinder from O'Reilly. Where's the part number for that? That's the part number for your master cylinder. If you have a 1985 Monte Carlo, it says, I end up getting my drum brake shoes from CarQuest. Uh, part number. I think that's it. I end up ordering uh, my wheel cylinder from CarQuest. I end up getting my drum brake hardware kit. I want everything brand new back there so I don't have any issues. I ordered that from CarQuest. Decals that came with the wheel wood disc brakes. I ordered my um drum 
for my um drum brakes from Car Quest. What's in that box? Let me see if I can get y'all part number. Yep, part number. For the brake drums. Um, brake fluid, which I would need some more. I got that from Car Quest. And this here. I know this standing out to y'all, but I've been watching a couple of videos on YouTube about the rust oleum undercoat. So I'm going with this, the rubberized black. The plan is before I get the brakes installed, I already went to my mechanic and spoke with them. They gave me a price. I pulled up in the car, let them verify, see everything. And they gave me a price. So. The plan is I'll be probably going by LJ shop when I'm off and we'll be taking the wheels off and everything. And I'm going to be painting the fender wheels black, clean up under them. And we go paint that, you know, I don't need no wheel with this brakes on there and it's looking all cheesy. So that's the plan. I'm going to be taking the tires off before I add the disc brakes on there and cleaning up under the wheel wheels. And also we'll do that front and back and then the undercarriage of the car, like with a rear end and all that's it. If it looks kind of nasty under there, we'll be sanding that down and also um, spraying it with the undercoat. Yeah, I've been watching a couple of videos with a couple of, couple of different people doing vehicles and I like the outcome of their vehicle, so I'm going for I need that clean look because not too much longer after I add these disc brakes and, like I say, clean up under the undercarriage, the fender wheels, I'll be probably going rim shopping and we'll be trying to see, you know, what rim fits this car. It's almost like dressing up. Gotta see what wheel fits this car. And if it's an open wheel, just in case where you can see a lot, I want everything to be clean under there. The disc, not only just the disc brakes, but the fender well, everything black. You know? Yeah, this thing that came a long way. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And if y'all aren't and y'all new to this channel, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And go check out my last videos. Oh, uh, other updates I've done to the morning color. The last one I posted before this one would drop would be when I added the music. I got the music installed. Yeah. So let me know what y'all think. Yeah. And let me um end up cutting the camera off. And I'm going to get that part for y'all that those... People order for me brand new so I can let y'all also see that. Give me a minute, be right back. These are the wheel wood brakes I originally ordered, but they sent me the black rotors. What's going on YouTube? I'm back. So this is the new bread box that Unlimited Upholstery purchased me. The console bread box. That's the name I seen on eBay when I was looking forward to order one and all that. So that's what I'm calling it, a bread box. But this is the new one they ordered me. It's already painted the color of my vehicle. Hardware under it. So I guess I'll be sticking that in there until I can get somebody to either repair the original one or, um, or do something with it, I guess. I'll be putting that in there soon. And I also purchase some other items. I end up been having this M for the front of my hood because that one is over with. As you can see, the covering is over with on it. But when I do take it off, I've been watching um 87 SS Boy videos for a while. So I'm going to do what he ended up doing. That was way smarter than me. So I just purchased this one from um G body parts, the one with the adhesive backs, it makes more sense instead of fighting with that to get that one back in. I just put the um, adhesive one 
on the front when I do get it fixed. And I ordered that one there from gbodyparts.com. And they ordered that new bread box from Dixie Repo. But yeah, like I said, I'm satisfied with the wheel with this brake kit. And only issue I had was they sent me the black instead of the chrome or the silver, which I ordered. So I just deal with it, I guess, and put that on. It's not going to be no bad look. I just wanted, you know, that, that look with the slotted and drills with the red caliber back there that's going to match. And everything going to pop out with the wheels. If the wheels are see-through and you're able to see back there, it's going to definitely give it a sick look. So hopefully y'all like this and it's helpful to anyone who has a, a 1985 Monte Carlo SSG body or any other G body. So I just got off of work. I'm currently at FedEx. They already sent me the label for the return. So I'll be shipping them back, getting the correct ones. So I just finished up. Didn't have to pay for anything. They boxed it up for me and shipping it back. So. Stay tuned. I will be getting the correct ones. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe.